Here's a video about porting Ford E7 heads. These came off at 351 Windsor. Pretty sure they're the same as a 302. Different casting numbers. Doesn't exactly say E7. But I believe they're the same as a 302. Here's what the exhaust port started out as. Big hump there for EGR and air pump. And then here's it after. Ground out, gasket matched. That's how the gasket used to fit. That's how it fits now. Left a lot of the floor. Didn't want to go into the coolant passages. And thinking is when the air comes down, want it going towards a valve, not uh, having to make a 90 right there. And also keeping that distance of the port the same from floor to roof. Left the uh, bottom of the exhaust port there as well. So there's the exhaust port originally. And there it is afterwards. Open it up, smoothed out a lot of these edges, made that a better transition. Took out as much as I felt comfortable getting to the valve seat. Try to smooth out there where the valve stem goes. Smoothed out beside where it goes. Use carbide burrs. Bit of sanding at the end. Might do. We'll be doing some more sanding. And take ports. Originally, they narrow up right where the intake is. Where the push rods travel through, you have some material there on the inside. So I tried to take out a bunch of this on both sides, make it as wide on both sides. after and the before again and the after Gasket matched uh, the intake ports. Not much to do. So we'll just sort out as the after the intakes left all the rough casting marks because it'll be on a carbureted engine. Gonna leave all those burr marks there.
Just a moment. And so for the intake ports behind the seat, behind the valve, just smoothed out some of these edges. Again, didn't want to go into the coolant passages and left it rough. So there's a few of those edges taken out. Overall an improvement without breaking them.